Good afternoon everyone, I hope you are well. This is Andy at Audi Upgrades. Today I am standing in front of a stunning 2017 Audi A7 4G facelift. What an amazing vehicle, I love these cars. Um, and this one, albeit a little bit dirty on the outside, is in fantastic condition with a lovely like cream leather interior, still in great condition, great specification, clean throughout. And um, this is a new one, so and as in a new one in terms of retrofits for me. So, been chatting to this customer for quite a while, probably the best part of five months or so, give or take. I've lost count to be honest. And he reached out to me asking for a couple of retrofits, and that list grew, and then the list grew a bit more, and then the list grew a bit more, and you get the idea. And now the customer has dropped the car off and basically said to me, Andy, I want you to treat this like a project. I want you to don't rush, which I would never do anyway. Just tell me when it's done. I want to get all these things done and treat it like a project. So I'm going to try and do this as a project with YouTube videos. So you can see the progress I'm making as I go through it. But in reality, in terms of time scales, I'm probably going to have this car for four to six weeks. Not because it's going to take me four to six weeks to do the work, but it means I can do a little bit here, a little bit there. Um, I've got some other clients I have to deal with anyway, um, and I can just kind of really like take my time, do some videos for you guys, and treat it like a project. Um, and I'm looking to start today, so. Um, we've got everything um, for all the jobs, albeit maybe a couple of tiny bits which are due in the next couple of weeks, but that doesn't matter because I've got the car for all this time. Um, and I can't even remember the entire list, so I've got my phone and I'm going to just reel off to you uh, the, the things that we're going to be doing. So, first thing is just some coding stuff. So, uh, the front parking sensors don't come on automatically uh, as they get near towards uh, an object. You have to kind of press the button on the dash. We'll change that. Uh, the second one is dimming wing mirrors. So the interior mirror here, if someone's driving behind you and shining their headlights, the interior mirror um, kind of uh, has a chemical reaction inside it that dims um, to not blur your eyes. This one, uh, we're going to be fitting the dimming glass to the wing mirrors and the necessary wiring and coding and all of that. So when the interior mirror dims, when the interior mirror dims, the wing mirrors will dim as well. Uh, so that's the first thing. It does get does get better. Um, traffic sign recognition. So this AC, uh, sorry, this A7 does not have adaptive cruise control. If it did have adaptive cruise control, it would have had the necessary hardware installed to have traffic sign recognition, or would have had traffic sign recognition already enabled. As this car does not have adaptive cruise control, which we're going to be doing uh, later on this year, um, we have to put all the hardware in just for traffic sign recognition, but it needs to be in for adaptive cruise control anyway, so we kind of kill two birds with one stone. So we're going to be putting in the hardware for that, and I've done that on a previous A7, uh, if you have a look back at my uh, posts through Facebook and what have you, and we're going to be putting in uh, the traffic sign recognition system. So that's that one. Um, heated steering wheel. Uh, so this car does not have a heated steering wheel. <coughs> Customer managed to source a really good quality uh, A7 4G facelift heated steering wheel uh, and airbag, um, even though we don't need the airbag, but we're going to swap the airbag over because it's got a few less scratches on it than, than his one. Uh, um, and all the necessary wiring and other bits and pieces to make that work. So we've got heated steering wheel going in, uh, lane departure warning, uh, so the kind of the green lines that uh, make sure that the car is staying within the white lines on the road and you get the green lines on your dash, uh, on your head up display to stop you veering uh, off the road. As we're doing the heated steering wheel, it kind of makes sense to do that and we're doing traffic sign recognition. It kind of all kind of sits together in that regard. Uh, advanced tyre pressure monitoring. So as some of you may know, advanced tyre pressure monitoring where the individual tyre pressures and temperatures uh, show up on the uh, MMI system is not a standard option for most Audis in the UK. They are, it is standard in say the RS5 and the RS vehicles, but in the lower spec vehicles it's not. So the customer has already had the valves fitted to his wheels. You have to replace those with new valves for the advanced TPMS system. So I got those, sent them to him in the post. 
he then got them fitted uh, in advance of coming here and then I'm going to fit the, the actual system that will read the, the valves and display the uh, temperatures and pressures of each individual wheel on the MMI system, a, a really useful feature to have. Uh, what else? Blind spot warning, so or what Audi call Audi side assist. We're going to be fitting the blind spot warning, so this is new wing mirror covers uh, with the hole in them for the little side assist LED that goes just kind of here. Um, I've got the wing mirrors already, I've had them painted by my uh, body, local body shop. Uh, uh, this colour is um, mythical metallic black I think it is, or metallic mythical black, I can't remember which way around the words are. Um, so we've had those already painted, so we'll be swapping them over. All the system in the back of the car, all the wiring, uh, the new button inside the, uh, inside the driver's door to turn the side assist system on and off, um, as that exists in the A7 and A6s. So we're gonna be doing that. Uh, he's got a rear view camera at the moment, just the standard rear view camera from the factory. I'm gonna take that out and we're gonna fit the front and rear corner view system. So this is not the 360 camera system, which you've seen me do on other vehicles where you have the cameras in the wing mirrors as well. Um, this is just a camera in the front bumper, which doesn't exist at the moment, a new camera in the rear bumper, all the wiring and the control system and stuff. And then what it does is it projects an image on the MMI screen when parking uh, of the front of the car and the rear of the car. And it has this kind of corner view where it splits the screen in two and there's a picture of the car in the middle and it kind of shows this kind of corner view. So you can see around the corners uh, as you're parking and stuff, it's quite a useful, uh, useful feature to have. Right, what's next? Uh, rear armrest cup holders. See, that's a whole mix of things. So, no rear armrest cup holders uh, in this A7. So we're going to fit those. We've got the genuine ones. We haven't got any aftermarket stuff from those kind of websites. We've got the genuine ones from Audi. So we're going to be fitting those. Um, the aluminium trim around the gear stick in the A7 is quite prone to. Uh, scratches and dents and stuff it's quite a soft metal um, so his one has got a few knocks and scratches from the previous owner as far as I understand so we've got a brand new one so I'll be replacing that probably do that right at the end it's like one of the last things I'll be doing uh, front and rear black emblems so the Audi rings on the front bumper new Audi rings on the rear bumper uh, in gloss black and we're gonna debadge the uh, a7 logo which is in chrome on the back of the car as well as the quattro logo on the back of the car we're going to take those off um, soft closed doors this car does not have self-closing doors so that's actually the job i'm going to start today so soft closed doors to all four doors um, i'm going to be doing that uh, great great feature to have and is that it a dvd changer so yep this car can have a dvd changer probably might wonder why you need a DVD changer. No one really watches DVDs, but like you said, project car. Let's try and put every option in it as much as we can. Um, so DVD changer is gonna go in in the glove box and, uh, and, and make that part of the MMI system. So these are the two other retrofits we want to do after all of this is done, probably later in the year. As I mentioned, adaptive cruise control, but it's a pretty big job. Um, ABS pump needs messing around with radars and, and other bits and pieces and night vision as well. So this car can have night vision, but again, quite a big job. Uh, cluster has to be replaced with a different one, uh, a few other bits and pieces. So we're gonna tackle those two at a later date. But I think that's probably about it. I'm really looking forward to getting into this. Um, I'm gonna try and do lots of photos and videos, kind of show you where I'm at with everything because I'm not in a rush to finish. I don't have to be done by a particular time. Keeping it open-ended, could be four weeks, could be five weeks, could be six weeks. Obviously, I don't wanna keep the car indefinitely right i want to finish the job and hand the car back to the client but the pressure is off in terms of getting the job completed so really looking forward to getting to my teeth into this one uh, as i say i've got 95 percent of all the parts already and um yeah just kind of want to do this video before i started oh one more thing i've noticed uh, obviously if you know from my other videos before i do any work before i get one tool out of my uh, my tool chest um, is I take scans of the car, so I plug the car into the computer, do a full scan of the car in its current state, check for any faults, uh, clear those faults down, see which ones return, uh, take a scan again, do a full uh, backup of the car's configuration um, before starting. So you've always got this like nice level playing field, you know where the car's, car is from a configuration and error perspective, and then you can begin to work on the car. One thing I've noticed is that the car says it's got three car keys programmed to the vehicle, but the car owner, my client, only has two physical keys. So there's a third key somewhere, 
in the UK, wherever, um, connected to this car. So I'm going to deregister that key, uh, deregister that key. So I look forward to getting into it. Cheers, guys.